after seven months, the university in China are welcoming their students back to the campus for an energy and vitality in Chinese campus. Welcome back again, this is Xi. Here's what we can see. Hundreds of students gathered together, dancing peacefully, playground in any and you. A creative light show provided by 300 drones welcome students back in Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics. What an exciting scene. First group of university students back in Wuhan, attracting much attention on social media. Some said Wuhan looks better than university students. Universities in China can reopen normally since the epidemic has been controlled gradually. As for August 24th, there have been no new local cases in China for eight consecutive days. Social life is back to right track, and school reopening follows a uh, rational line. Dean of Undergraduate College of Wuhan University promised to students. Students are returning on the other side of the ocean, while US media revolve their anxiety. A headline of New York Times work, can't NYC schools open on time? Political also mentioned, we don't have time to battle here. It is not that they don't want to restart the school, but the situation is just not supported. Nearly 150 students test positive of coronavirus in the University of Notre Dame. UNC Capitol Hill reverses plan for in-person classes after 130 students test positive for COVID-19. A Yale University home job had one student to emotionally prepare for people to die from COVID-19. CNBC reports that President Trump and his supporters have been pushing hard for schools to reopen in order for the economy to restart. According to a study from NYU, closing schools for one month could cost the U.S. economy more than 0.2% of GDP. Seen in a report on August 22nd, remote learning last early. Schools were losing billions of dollars. Meanwhile, the cost of keeping faculty and staff employed did not go down. Education experts said their options are limited. The threat of the COVID-19 still remains, while U.S. government pushed to reopen schools. Deal with the economic downturn as a cost of life of people, especially the children. Does it really count? Do you message US politicians? This is key. We'll be back.